Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. It's really nice to be in front of the camera again. I hope you miss me because I did miss you guys a lot. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make another Mexican dish. This one is also my mom's recipe and it's a very traditional recipe for Lent season. So hopefully you will give it a try. I'm going to be showing you how to make a shrimp soup. Really easy to make. The preparation time and the cooking time combined is going to be about 40 minutes. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let's get started. So you'll find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. We're going to start by cooking the dry peppers. To do so, first remove the stems from the peppers and also remove some of the seeds. You don't have to remove all the seeds at all, I'm just shaking the peppers a little bit and the seeds will fall right away. Now place the peppers in a saucepan and then add enough water to cover them and we're going to bring them to a boil. Let them boil for about 5 minutes and then blend them with 1 cup of water and 1 cube of shrimp bouillon seasoning. Blend them until well blended and set the sauce aside for a minute. Now we're going to work with the dry shrimp. We're just going to remove the heads from the dry shrimp. I like the combination of textures that I get from using both dry and fresh shrimp, but the dry shrimp is the base of this broth. You can omit or replace the fresh shrimp if you want, you can replace it with some fish or scallops or some other type of seafood, but you cannot replace or omit the dry shrimp at all. So we're just going to remove the heads from the dry shrimp. So just pull the head and discard the heads. You can also remove the tails if you want, but I don't mind the tails at all, so I'm just leaving them on. The heads will look kind of off or not as appealing if I were to leave them in the soup. So I'm just doing this for presentation purposes, I want the soup to look just as delicious as it is. So once you're done removing the heads, set the shrimp aside until you're ready to use it. Now in a large saucepan on medium heat, add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, it's less than a tablespoon, and just saute the onion and garlic for about 2 minutes, just to soften them a little bit. And after 2 minutes, now add in the rest of the vegetables, I'm using potatoes, celery and carrots. My mom will also add zucchini and chayote squash, but my husband is allergic to them, so I just left them out, but you can use any kind of vegetables that you like. Now give this a quick stir, then add in the bay leaf and season the vegetables with salt and pepper to taste. Give it another stir and then cover the pan with a lid and cook on medium heat for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, now we're going to add in the dry shrimp and we will also add in about 8 cups of water. You can replace the water with vegetable broth to give it extra flavor if you want. But like I said before, the dry shrimp is full of flavor and it will infuse the water with it. So the broth will be equally delicious either way. I'm actually using just water and you want to add enough water to cover all the vegetables and the dry shrimp. So feel free to add as much water as you need to. Now cover this with a lid and we're going to bring this to a boil, it will take about 15 to 20 minutes. And once the broth is boiling, now we're going to add in the red chili sauce. I recommend that you strain the sauce just to make sure your soup won't end with a lot of chili skin in it. So once you strain in the sauce, give it a quick stir and then add some cilantro. The cilantro is to taste, then cover the pan with a lid and we're going to bring this to a boil again and we're going to boil it for 5 minutes. After the soup has been boiling for about 5 minutes, now taste the flavor, add more salt and pepper if needed. If you want you can also add another cube of shrimp bouillon seasoning. By now the dried shrimp should be completely hydrated so it should be nice and tender. So taste one just to make sure it's nice and soft. If you like it softer, feel free to cook them for another 3 to 5 more minutes. And after that, once you're happy with the texture, now we're going to add in the fresh shrimp and we will also add in the fish. I'm also going to sprinkle more cilantro in there, the cilantro is to taste, remember? And I'm just going to cook this for another 5 more minutes or until it starts to boil. Once the soup is boiling, you're ready to serve. So grab your bowl and fill it up with your delicious shrimp soup. This soup is so hearty and comforting and just so rich and flavorful, you're going to love it. 
Like I said, this is a very traditional soup for Lent season, but it's perfect all year round. I hope you give it a try. Enjoy! To print these and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog. The link is going to be down below. And remember, you will also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest. I'm everywhere, so the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!